I didn't do the things I did here or hopefully can continue to do because I got an award. My name is Bill Boker and today we're here to honor Jack Kale. Hi, I'm Jack Kale, a 1977 graduate of Delone Catholic. Jack to me is Mr. Delone. Uh, he's got the biggest heart and a passion for Delone Catholic and the Delone community. When I think of Delone, the, the first thing comes to my mind is tradition. And everybody knows what tradition is, but it's, you know, I'm, you, just sitting here talking about it, I have goosebumps. I, I can walk into the shack down there where, where we dress for football. I can walk in there and, right now and I'll be full of goosebumps. So the big thing for me is tradition. I don't want this place to lose its tradition. I think it's, it's very important. Working with the Finance Committee, Jack was involved in that. Um, one of the interesting things back in the day was once we got the budget approved, what amount was left over for facilities? Might have only been 5,000, might have been 10,000, but Jack was happy with whatever figure he got and went right at it with the funds that he had available to him. The things that I've done here at Delone weren't me. It was, I, I made sure I surrounded myself with great people. It got to the point after being here, I don't know, 25, 30 years, that if I'd walk into the KFC, people would run hide because they were afraid I was gonna ask them to do something. Everything we accomplished were not so much me as the organization of the people that I knew. And it's continuing today. Jack got an idea, he was moving forward with it quick uh, and, uh, and wanted to get things accomplished fast. I'm grateful because hopefully it, it shows people that you know hard work and dedication pay off. Maybe I'll become a mentor like Joe McCullough was to me and Brother Renee Sterner and many, many others that, you know, that, 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 that this whole thing can continue. The fun part was uh, when the uh, shack was painted um, and Jack felt it would be beneficial to put the Squire logo on the shack. That all went well until we found out that the borough felt that the uh, insignia on the shack um, violated the rules with the displaying names of the lone Catholic, uh, that type of thing. Uh, it was part of the s signage issue. Jack was very creative on that. Rather than get it painted over, he proceeded to have a bus smacked right up against the shack so that you could no longer see the logo until the variance was approved. I wish more people knew you know, the things that happen here behind the scenes. You know, the, the, the hard work that people give that they don't receive anything other than maybe self-satisfaction. The, the tremendous amount of volunteer time that goes on here is just, you know, and, and again, I don't think a lot of times we toot our own horn or appreciate that near enough. So if me getting this award helps bring that to light, okay. <laughs>